to the channel, everybody. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Today I wanted to showcase the Santa Fe operations on the Cox and Sub. As you hopefully know by now, unless you're new to the channel, if you are, welcome. Uh, but if you're not new to the channel, you probably realize that uh, and remember that this route is a uh, St. Louis Southwest, Southwestern or a Cotton Belt route. But we do have operations uh, at a limited scale for other railroads. So the Santa Fe does have interchange here in Coxon, including its own little yard for some local operations. So whenever we're going to run any of the Santa Fe trains, we're going to start in Hemp Hill Yard, which is here in Coxton. And I do believe this is the west end of Coxton. So the first thing we have to do is take our yard goats here and we're going to go do some pickups from the industries and then get those set into the yard and classified according to whether they're going to go back on the Santa Fe local or if they're going to end up going over to the Cotton Belt or the Union Pacific. All right, so stay tuned and we will see kind of how this day plays out. Normally on a busy day like today, we would actually have quite a few cars here in the yard waiting for the next train to take them over to their uh, respective railroads but uh, today our yard is empty so we're going to assume that maybe this is like a Sunday or something where we just haven't had a train come through in a while and everything's been sorted out already. The first industry we're going to serve the day is the unionized company here in Coxon so we have a couple pickups to make. Some of these are heading off to the Cotton Belt and others are heading off to the Union Pacific and I think we have maybe one car that's going to head back with us onto the Santa Fe. Well, looking at our uh, car tags here, we were slightly off on our assessment. We have three that are going over to the Union Pacific. Uh, tonight's perishables, that's, those are the COKs. And the MEH3 is going to head over to the Cotton Belt to head over to uh, the Med Mill to be loaded with wood chips. All right, now we're heading over to the Coxton Gas Works, which is kind of a fancy name for a coking facility. It takes coal and uh, cooks it in or makes it into coke. So the way that's simulated on this route is with a couple of small uh, gas works as in kind of the older days where they would actually use the gas works to supply gas like for city lights and city consumption and things. And they would do that by basically turning coal into coke and just kind of capturing the, the coal tar and other things that came out when you did that. So uh, here we just have two pickups today, two tank cars as the hoppers are not quite yet done uh, being loaded and unloaded. So we're just gonna grab these two tankers and head on out from the gas works. Next up is the Coxon Fertilizer Mill. We do have a few pickups here. There's actually quite a few cars here right now. So we're going to grab a couple of tankers and the three covered hoppers there on the right on the ready track waiting to be picked up for delivery. Just to give a little context and to kind of see some of the recent work, here are the industries here that are served by the Santa Fe. We've got pretty much all of them in frame. And uh, we've got a, a view here of kind of some of the scenery. It's not it's not done, but it has been greatly improved. If you go back and watch our most recent live stream on the Cox and Sub, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, we built the team track, which is way back there in the background. Uh, it looked really nice. And so, you know, if you compare this area to that, you'll realize this is definitely not done, but it has come a long way. So just wanted to give a quick preview of, of the work that's been done. Next up is Dirk's Lumber. 
Dark Slumber receives lumber from uh, the Med Meal uh, and also uh, from other places off map and then ships it out in either boxcars or on bulkheads or center beams. So we get a lot of lumber traffic in and out. But uh, today we actually have to pick up every car that's here because our local that's coming in actually has, I think, eight or nine setouts here. So we need to go ahead and clear this track. Here we are looking at quite a few pickups. It's funny how quickly you can get a long train just by working four industries, but we have quite a few cars we've picked up here and probably just as many that we've left in place. So not a bad day. And here we are pulling out the last cars from Dirk Slumber. And here we are at the last industry today for pickups. We have we're gonna we're gonna grab one string of covered hoppers here. And these are at the uh, Santa Fe Grain Terminal. So all of the three railroads in Coxon have their own grain terminals. The uh, St. Louis Southwestern has one over by the port. Santa Fe has theirs right here on the west side of Coxton. And then the Union Pacific uh, has another one of its own uh, over on the west end as well. Here we are with a nice view of the whole train. The first thing we're going to do here is go ahead and sort through our cars. Uh, any cars that are going to be going back to the Santa Fe are going to be left kind of back there where the end of our train is. There's a there's a spare track right there. And we're going to start sorting those cars out first. And then any cars to the Union Pacific or the Cotton Belt will kind of be put over here on the right side into Hemp Hill Yard for storage for now. Looking at the car tags here, we can see that we have three hoppers for UP and two for KCS. I will make a special note about this. Any car from the Santa Fe that's bound to the KCS has to first go to the Cotton Belt. And the Cotton Belt serves as the connecting railroad, which will then take any KCS cars over to Moscow uh, to be set out for the KCS. That's about 40 miles away, so it's a pretty good trip. All right, so this is Hemp Hill Yard. From right to left, you have tracks uh, five, four, three, two, one. So track five is usually just kind of a loop track, always left open. Uh, but then tracks uh, four, three, two, and one, you can kind of use as you wish. Since we have quite a few cars that are gonna go to the cotton belt today, we're gonna go ahead and leave those on uh, track one here. And then that includes the KCS cars. And then we'll put the uh, UP cars on track two, because that's the next greatest amount. And then we'll put all the Santa Fe cars uh, back over on that spur that we mentioned a minute ago. So just kind of let you know what the plan is. We did decide to kick these cars today, so let's see how they do. Seems like we might have kicked them a little slow, but trust me, we are soon to find out if it was sufficient. So those were most certainly going too slow, but that's right. We managed to just get clear of this switch. Although I think in uh, real railroading, we would definitely have to go uh, reconnect and shove that a little further because that was a bit close for comfort. But uh, we did hear from the yard master. He has changed his mind. So we are actually going to park all the Santa Fe cars on yard track three. You will notice at the end of this cut, we have a tank car with uh, markings of SP. So a little bit of history. We know that the St. Louis Southwestern was owned by the Southern Pacific. And any of the cars that are going to the St. Louis Southwestern would receive a three letter or a three letter and a number car tag. But anything lettered for the SP is going to go onto the Cox and Sub and then head all the way north, just north of Johnsville where it does connect with the Southern Pacific Main Line. So this car will be going all the way across the map today. Well, it looks like we only have about two more moves to make and then this uh, train will be all split up and ready to uh, go on its respective journeys to different railroads. All right. 
right, now we have all our cars ready to go. We have our yard goats parked on the north lead, and we are now waiting for the local to come in from the Santa Fe. And we're going to do some uh, car swapping, block swapping, and then we'll have some setups to do afterwards. That'll be fun to see. And while the local, sorry, while the yard crew was doing all that switching, we have our local has been steadily making its way south from Little Rock. And here it is coming into Coxton. So once it reaches Coxton, it will go ahead and more or less terminate in Hemp Hill Yard. The uh, yard crew will take over any set outs that need to be done at the industries in Hemp Hill Yard, as well as any cars that need to go to the Union Pacific, while the local crew will go ahead and pick up any cars that are going to go to the Cotton Belt, head over to Nick's Yard on the east side of Coxton, and do some work over there, uh, block swapping and things, getting cars moved over to the Cotton Belt, and then they're going to turn around and come back with any cars that have been waiting in Nick's Yard for the Santa Fe. And then last thing they'll do is pick up cars in Hempel Yard and they'll head on back north to Little Rock and come right back this way. As our local comes in to Hemp Hill Yard, here's kind of how this is going to work. Every single car on this train, up until those tank cars you see back there, are all heading to the Cotton Belt. So we're going to pull our entire train right up here, and we're going to park those tank cars uh, right at this switch. And so we're going to cut our train, and then the local crew will back up in the Hemp Hill Yard, grab the cars on track 5, that, or sorry, track 1, that need to be uh, heading over to the Cotton Belt. And then it's just going to go on its merry way. Meanwhile, the yard crew is going to go ahead and pull out of the lead and start uh, getting these cars over to the industries and getting them set out. If there's any cars that are going to be going to the UP, then the yard crew will also go ahead and uh, get those set out onto their proper track in Hempo Yard. So I noticed while pulling this cut of cars that we actually brought in a train that was a little bit too long for the switch lead for the yard. So we're actually going to go on, going to have to connect back to the rest of our train and pull it forward about seven or eight cars so that we can uh, get the caboose there in front of that crossover so the yard crew can get back behind it. So we got one more thing to do before we can head over to Coxton.
All right, guys. Well, this will be the end of part one. Thank you for joining today. Uh, please stay tuned for part two. Part two, we're going to talk about uh, the moves here in Nick's yard as we get turned around, and then we'll go back to Hempel Yard and do some more working in Coxton before we head back north to Little Rock. So uh, thanks again for joining. Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, stay tuned for more goodies coming up this week and next week. Thanks again. Talk to you guys later.